Hi there guys and welcome to Kyle Reviews and today we're here with an episode of the LG G Watch going back in time to a classic smartwatch. So classic in fact this is the first ever Android Wear powered watch to be released. Um, so this, is, this video is going to be about if it's still worth getting now. Um, I'm going to tell you straight away yes for certain people. Uh, we'll go through why and all that now. But first you know, if you get it in the in the box, either as new or still sealed, this is the sort of thing you're going to get. It was a basic white box, massive release, everyone was going nuts, and uh, some information there on the back. This actually released as an IP67 certified water dust and resistant device, so already pretty great and tough. Always on display. If you didn't like the always on screen display, you can actually turn that off in settings too. Uh, you could speak to it. It had a microphone built in with the um, you know Google phrase um, questions and things so you can get your weather and all that uh, shown to you uh, but yeah I'll go through it I've already opened this to check it out and turn it on but I'll show you why I had to do that in the box you got the magnetic charge cradle solid and fit snugly it worked perfect micro USB though uh, this was time you know before USB-C was standard you got the cable obviously micro USB to USB A. This is the exact cable that came with it. And then the watch itself, nice and simple. Now just to start before you know you know turn it on and all that, this is how you had to do it. To turn it on at all, you had to plug it onto the cradle like that to charge, which would then automatically turn it on. There is no buttons on the outside of the device to turn it off and on, so that's it. And going on to the watch itself, it came with a simple uh, rubberized, well, rubber strap. It's comfy enough, you know, it form fitted to your wrist very well, but the bonus with this sort of thing is you can swap it out for any normal watch straps. So if you don't like your rubber, you prefer leather or even metal linked ones, you can swap it out nice and easy for that. But the rubber one wasn't bad to come free with it. It charges with obviously those connectors on the back. Uh, I believe some people call it pogo pins, uh, but yeah, that's your style. But it always works with that, no worries. This little silver bit right above the charge pins are is sorry the reset button. So because obviously there's no buttons on the air to turn off and on. If it ever did it like a, a freeze, it's froze upon you or something didn't work, you can hit that button there to re restart it and uh, hopefully get it going again. And um, yeah, it was nice and easy. Just get a paper clip in there, sorted. Once you have connected this to your phone, and just like uh, most watches even now, the newer, more fandangled ones, you have to use a companion app. So on Android, you go install Google Wear app. Just go in the Play Store, search Wear, and you'll see it. This connects through Bluetooth and then synchronizes and sets up. And you're greeted with this very thing here. I've only just done the setup process, just so I can do the video for you guys. But you're greeted like that. The uh, black background with the white writing is the always on display. So that's that. When you use your wrist and spin it, it comes back on. If you sort of leave it long enough, it'll go back off into always on. You can turn that always on display off so it goes, goes completely black and saves power. But at the end of the day, it's enough power in there to last all day anyway. But you're greeted with this, the card style display. This is the original style they went for with Google where the software powering this. And basically, the cards are the notifications. So if someone sends me a message, it'll come through on there with the uh, the body of the text. Like, like, I don't know, a friend says, hey, how are you? It'll just say that there with the person's name. And you can swipe it away, or you can interact with the card if it allows it. There we go, you can swipe to remove. And then there you go, you can interact with cards, bring up more information, click on OK, I got it, or other things like tap on reply, and you can speak to the watch to send your reply exactly what it is you're saying and yeah it's a very simple uh, system easy to use anyone can get on with it upon soon after release of this watch they you know did a software update too so it added new features and this is what you'll be seeing today the updated version swipe in this way you get your apps all very simple ones usable ones so you got your alarm and all that, um, weather, Google Translate, whatever built in, and obviously fitness tracking. Um, and that was your preset apps. I've not installed any. You can use the Google Wear app, the companion app on your uh, phone, I believe to install more watch faces and apps. I've not explored that these days to see if it still works, 
But you know, even if it doesn't, what is already on the watch is enough. And long hold here, this will bring up the watch faces in question. You know, there's a load of jazzy ones, ones that use your own photos too. Let's find that, that's my favourite style. There we go, it's called photos. You load up your own photos and you can show them off like that. I love doing that, I got me bring up me and my missus together in a photo, it's quite nice. Swiping down and bring up your quick toggles. This sort of thing is still on Android phones right now. But instead of seeing one at a time on a phone, you see them all together. And then you've got your settings as well. So you can tap on your settings. And this is more in-depth brightness. Change your watch face again. Font size, gestures. There's your always on display setting. Bluetooth, turn it on and off. Airplane mode. I believe this has Wi-Fi built in as well. Access Accessibility options. My English is not doing good today. Change your date and time. Screen lock as well, which is kind of important if you got if you like your privacy, you can put a pin on there. Change your permissions. Unpair from the phone if you're changing your phone. Reset the watch itself. Completely wipe it if you want to sell it on, whatever. Just turn off. And obviously to turn back on again, like I said earlier, there's no buttons. You need to put it back on the cradle charge to turn it back on. And then there's your about stuff. So, you know, the watch name, all that good stuff there. Software updates, which you won't get now. It's too old for that. As a watch itself, as a whole, the question is today, is it worth it? Now, I'm not going to go off what you can and can't do with it anymore. Let's just go with what is on it. So, you've got your settings, you can change things, you've got built-in apps. There is no speaker in this, but you can use the microphone to, you know, ask it questions, dictate messages, things like that. And as a notificator, brings up your messages and, you know, app notifications and stuff. It's enough for a lot of people still. There is obviously newer smartwatches nowadays, like even the one I'm wearing right now. This is the S3 Frontier. By today's standard, it's an older watch, but it's still a lot newer than this uh, LG G watch. It does a lot more. I can mess around with more features on there. And it has sensors on the bottom of this one, you know, to do more fitness stuff. This has no sensors. As a basic smartwatch, it's still worth it. I would look for as new or brand new in box still. As you can see, this was brand new in box. I've not re really taken off the screen protector or the side plastic. Is it shiny because the plastic is still on it? It's brand new. If you can get it cheap, uh, the equivalent of, I don't know, between great British pounds, 20 pounds, 50 pounds. I wouldn't go more than 50 pounds. Then yes, it's, it's, it's worth it for the investment. It does the job. The battery is still fantastic. That's one thing to watch out for in older watches now this is still an all-day battery um, yeah it's worth it it does the job it looks nice still it's a bit of a classic one you can you know go around saying oh yeah I've, I've got the first ever release smartwatch by LG because everyone knows LG doesn't make smartwatches and phones anymore um, if you're that sort of person that loves, loves to collect so yes now if you're the sort of person that wants the latest and greatest features you want all the bells and whistles blood oxygen meter for fitness you know elevation tracking if you're um, a bit of an outgoer um, all the latest app supports things like that i wouldn't bother with this skip straight fast this you're gonna you're gonna spend more on the newest watch obviously but that's the sort of thing you'll be after anyone else wants to save a bit of money just have a watch that does a job that's it right there and it does vibrate still to let you know there's no new notification there's no speaker like i said earlier so it is a quieter watch too. Sometimes I find the beeps on my watch annoying and I put it in silent mode anyway. And vibration's enough to tell you there's a new notification. I love this piece. Now sadly I'm gonna sell this on after my review because I've got a newer watch anyway and you know, I need the money. So yeah, I would highly recommend this to anyone. Now if, if I haven't sold this yet and when you, you wanna get hold of me and there's notifications to buy this off me, let me know. You've seen it working. You know, it's it's all there, black and white. If you want to buy it off me, let me know. Um, but let me know what else you want to see in the comments too. Um, I'm going to look to do older tech. I'm going to look to do budget tech. Uh, my next one is going to be Timu based tech again. Um, probably my microphone. See what you think if you're looking to do YouTube in that. Um, but yeah, tell me uh, what, what you think of this video. Please like, subscribe and share. And I uh, hope to see you in my next one. Thank you very much. See ya.